Hi, in this video, I'll show you how to take notes while listening to a podcast or any other audio content. Whether you read a book, watch a video, or listen to a podcast, the contents fall into two main buckets, entertainment or information. Good contents include a little bit of both, but they're generally classified into one of the two buckets. Entertainment contents can be consumed and enjoyed passively. For example, you can listen to music while washing the dishes, and watch your favorite vlog while exercising. But for informational content, it makes sense to pay attention, and if you're serious about learning, it helps to take notes. It's straightforward to take notes while reading a book, but how about when you're listening to a podcast? Here's where the web app called Otranscribe comes in. As the name suggests, this is a transcription tool. This tool is really meant to help users transform audio content into a written form. It doesn't do it automatically, the user has to type the words, but the media player controls make it really easy to do this. Let me show you how this works. Head over to otranscribe.com. I like the fact that you don't need to download anything and don't need to sign up for an account. I also appreciate that it has a very simple and minimal interface. The first thing we want to do is upload the file. Supported media types is dependent on the browser. For example, Chrome accepts MP4, but not MOV files. Conversely, Safari accepts MOV, but not MP4. So we may need to switch our browser depending on the media type we have. Fortunately, main audio file types such as MP3 and WAV files are supported by most browsers. I've downloaded a podcast from NPR, TED Radio Hour, to use as a sample. Let's upload it now. You can see that the file successfully uploaded as the file name is now displayed in the player bar. Here are the playback controls. Escape to play and pause, F1 or Control 1 to rewind, F2 or Control 2 to fast forward, F3 or Control 3 to slow down, F4 or Control 4 to speed up, and Control K to jump to time, or Control 0 to return to start. On a Mac, you want to substitute all of the control functions to a command key. The beauty and the efficiency comes from using keyboard shortcuts. To start, let's choose a playback speed. I generally play my content in 2x speed and slow down only in sections that interest me. You can choose a speed that's comfortable for you. We can fast forward and skip through advertisements and other sections that are not important or interesting. This way, we can get through the content in fraction of the time. So let's actually go through a bit of the sample content and show you how this works. Again, I'll speed up the playback to the fastest setting, fast forward a bit until we get to the start of the podcast. When we get to an interesting part, we'll slow down a bit and capture some notes. We can hit Control J to timestamp this spot if we want to come back to it later. We'll keep repeating this to the end of the podcast. I just remember walking in the room and she just spoke with such passion and such intelligence and thoughtfulness, and I knew I was attracted to her immediately. Our connection was crazy. It was it was a very deep emotional connection, and we had so much in common. That's Shaka Sengor and Ebony Roberts. Shaka and Ebony are um, unforgettable and share so much of our lives with each other, and so um, and I love. Thing. You know, I remember taking our little office that we put together and converting that into a nursery and just how amazing it felt to know we were going to be welcoming life into the world. So yeah, so I mean, I was just excited. I, you know, I was excited. I was nervous. I mean, I was afraid. There were, there were times where I was just like, but we knew our work, energy, and effort into building together. But we knew for the best interest of our son that we had to make the right decision. Our breakup hit me really hard. Ebony Roberts continues from the TED stage. But I decided I wouldn't let my broken heart get in the way of what was best for Sekou. We struggled initially trying to navigate this new space as co-parents. We can format and clean up any spelling errors as we go through the audio. If you want to review any of the timestamps, we can click on it and the audio will play from there. We put together and converting that into a nursery and just how amazing it felt to know we were going to be welcoming life into the world. So yeah, so I mean, I was just excited. I, I, you know, I was excited. I was... When we're done, we can export. I personally like to export using the OTR extension. If we save this file paired with the audio file, we can reload them together so that we return to this editing screen. But we can also save it as text file, markdown file, and even export the text file directly to Google Drive.
Even if we don't export our work, OTranscribe will save temporary backups in the browser's local storage, but I highly recommend you export your files. So as I referenced earlier, we can do this with video files as well. We load it up the same way as we did the audio file. We also have option to pull in a YouTube video just by providing the URL. Keep in mind that you may not be able to use the speed up and slow down functions for some of the YouTube videos. It really depends on how the content was created. So that's it for this video. Again, OTranscribe is meant to be a transcription tool, but you can use it to take notes while listening to a podcast or watching a video. If you have another creative use for this tool, leave a comment below. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, leave a like and subscribe. Thanks and bye now.